Yeah, hello, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in my video series, Uranus and the Birth Chart. In this video series, I talk about Uranus in each house in the birth chart. And we're up to Uranus in the third house. For all you new people, please click like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And in the description below, you're going to see a link to my website where you can see all my offerings and a link to get a reading with me where I dive deep into the evolutionary intent of your astrology and help you understand where the karmic blocks are keeping you from where you want to be. All right, without any further ado, let's talk us about some Uranus in the third house. So you find yourself as a soul incarnated into a body with the planet Uranus sitting in your third house. How lucky are you? So it's important to look at your birth chart from the perspective of all the placements, all the aspects are all here to help you on your evolutionary goal of oneness with the divine. By looking at your birth chart, looking at your astrology in this way, you get to see where it's here to help you. And so the planet Uranus sitting in your third house. So we're going to talk a little bit about Uranus. We're going to talk a little bit about the third house, and we're going to bring the two of them together and see where we go. So Uranus is fundamentally the freedom of radical self-expression, free of all constraints from society. It's that divine inspired information that comes through and wants you to ground into the reality. It's all the new things that are kind of different outside the cultural norms, kind of bringing in the new, unique ideas that are going to change the culture. But the reality is the culture, society can be very tough on anyone that's trying to bring in thing new or whatnot. And it can be very, very tough on it, on whoever it is. And so your Uranus sits in your third house. The third house is how your mind works, how you communicate how you express yourself, how you see things in the world from a mental perspective. And so having Uranus there, fundamentally, we, we're looking at a soul that needs to have some freedom from society's constraints, letting their mind wander to areas that are outside the norm, communicate things that are outside the norm. So I've talked about this in many of my videos, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about it in this particular video because it's very pertinent to Uranus in the third house. So from a karmic perspective, so often Uranus is um, a trauma signature, meaning that, you know, if you come in and you bring in some new divine inspired wisdom and you do it in a way that's so to speak, in front of the wrong people, generally there's trauma that endues after that. And so by looking at it from that perspective, you can kind of see where the subconscious blocks, where those fears that aren't based in this incarnation are coming from. And then furthermore, the third house, heresy, is one of the aspects of the third house, meaning basically communicating things that are against the religious norms. So you have the two of these together, you know, the need to communicate things that are against society's norms, the freedom. And so part of what your soul is here to do is recover the ability to think outside the box. You know, Uranus and the third house are, are very quick mental energies you know so this is a quick-witted mind very likely to have uranus in the third house means very likely your ability to say things and think things and kind of react to, to the mental stimulation quickly is very very likely and so this can be a good thing and this can be a bad thing it's a good thing in the sense that you're 
able to process that mental information quickly and come back with with a response it's a bad thing is that you can quickly come back with a response and what will happen is sometimes that response won't necessarily be beneficial for you it's like how often does what come out of your mouth actually benefit you let me say that again how often that what comes out of your mouth actually benefits you and this is where a lot of people get Uranus wrong in the sense that it's that radical self-expression regardless of what anyone thinks. And there's some truth to that, but it's not meant as a self-sacrificing energy. You know, we don't want you to necessarily open your mouth and cause yourself harm. You know, and it's easy to do, especially with Uranus in the third house, especially sin is how a lot of times karmically we have these personas where, oh, we just don't fit in. Nobody gets me. Nobody really understands what I want to say. Everyone wants to persecute me when I open my mouth. And these are ego personas that are coming from a past life where, you know, very likely you spoke to the wrong people. And so... Rather than taking that divine inspired information and sharing it with the wrong people, if you take both of these energies together, that Uranus and that third house, it's about articulating new ideas in a way in which people can actually understand and get them. And so fundamentally, you need to do two things. You need to articulate them, but you also need to articulate them to people that are capable of understanding and so a lot of times you got to realize these Uranian ideas come in as these subtle inklings, these feelings, these thoughts that are fleeting, you know, sometimes they can even feel super strange to the person bringing them in. Sometimes what, you know, it's like what you're being asked to say or communicate or express is going to be strange to you. And this is often the case where there's things that you need to kind of say that are good for you, but they feel weird. They're like outside your own persona of who you are. And it's important to kind of push through some of this stuff. But you have to be careful because you don't want to push through it in such a way and then start communicating things that aren't good for you, that have a consequence of your communication that is not good for you. Because fundamentally, that's not what Uranus wants. Uranus wants you to express that divine inspired information. And the more you focus on that, the better this Uranus will be. And this is a, another fundamental thing about Uranus. If it's left unchecked, it's going to bring in all these things that are kind of not good for you. And so fundamentally, it's important to focus it narrowly. So I kind of allow yourself to express yourself in a particular area of life so that it doesn't have to come out in every area of your life you know a lot of times with people with a strong uranian signature they don't feel like they can fit in and and fundamentally uranus doesn't want you to not fit in you know, but it does want you to have an area where you can radically self-express yourself. And that's the trick. The more you focus it. So if you think about all these energies as individuals and needing to be fed, so to speak, needing to be nurtured. And so there's a certain amount of energy that these planets need. There's a certain amount of focus you need to f in your life to feed these planets, so to speak. And if you don't narrowly focus it. It's going to kind of feed everywhere. It's going to wreak havoc everywhere. But the more you narrowly focus it, the better it is for everyone. Because that's what Uranus really wants. It wants you to bring in that radical self-expression, but it doesn't necessarily want to alienate you. It doesn't want to necessarily wreak havoc in your life. Remember, most of that's the lower ego, the attachment to past life personas that no longer serve you. So fundamentally, being able to think outside the box, being able to communicate outside the box, very much talking about communication as like talking and stuff, but that's not 
necessarily the case for the third house. It's really how your mind works, how you interact in the middle mental aspect of life, where you're curious. And it can be spoken, it can be written, but it doesn't have to be. It can be, you know, a dance. It could be some kind of art project or some kind of just project in the world, you know. It's a different way of doing something, you know. Let's say you work in a particular field or and you come up with a, an idea on a different way of doing something. On some levels, that's third house Uranian energy. It does not have to be the spoken word. It does not have to be the word and word. You know, there's so many different ways to communicate outside the box. You know, when YouTube first came out, it was very Uranian in the sense that it's a new way to communicate. You know, you're going to pop on and do a video and anyone in the world can see it. And this is important to realize. This Uranus wants to be your friend. It wants you to fit in. It wants you to have community. It doesn't want to alienate you. But it also wants to express things free of society's constraints. So it's the balance of finding where you can be free of society's constraints in a way that doesn't alienate you from society. That's fundamentally what this placement is really looking for, is a way to express itself freely but not alienating you. All right, I hope you liked this video. Please click like and subscribe and have a spectacular day.